the views and opinions expressed on this stream do not necessarily reflect the views of Hybrid Hype Gaming LLC or its affiliates. What's up, it's your boy AF to the Z. All right, so uh, just got out of Spider Man No Way Home. That movie was fucking amazing, dude. Like. I laughed, I cried, I was on the edge of my seat, dude, like, mind you, like, there's just so much shit to process from that movie, so first and foremost, if you have not seen this movie yet, turn this shit the fuck off, or put it on mute so I can still get the view time and let it play out, I mean, whichever works better for you, but for the most part, yes, this movie was fucking golden. Almost everything I wanted in that movie happened, except for one thing, but I'm gonna explain that later. Well, it kind of happened, but it didn't happen, and I, like I said, I'll explain. So, uh, all right, let's take it from the top. All right, so, of course, you know, off rip, pick it up where fucking, uh, so we're picking up where fucking, you know, uh, No Way Home left off, I mean, where, uh, Far From Home left off, where, you know, they put my man Peter on blast. Everybody find out who the fuck he is and shit. And all that, you know, cops or whatever, whatever. And mind you, the cops, federal agents and all that shit, nowhere near as, 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 as abundant in the movie as the trailers make it seem. That's literally like the first, like, 15 minutes of the movie. But in the end, you know what I'm saying? Like, just so much shit happens, all right? So first and foremost... Everything that we were suspecting is true. Yes, the other Spider-Man were definitely in the movie. And you got to find a lot of closure for it. Like, they got, they got to close a lot of loose strings from the previous movies. So, the full, the full lineup, as we know, we got Electro, Doc Ock, uh, Green Goblin, Sandman, and Lizard. Which are technically, which technically could be a set of, you know, Furious Five. I mean, there was no sixth bad guy to come out. Which I low key was hoping was gonna be Venom. But we're gonna get more on that later. Uh, first and foremost, uh, like seeing uh, fucking Toby and Andrew reprise the roles as Peter Parker. That was, that was like dope as fuck. Like, for example, uh, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they were, they talked about how, you know, they lost theirs. Um, Green Goblin, you know what I'm saying? Will and the foe playing that, you know, oh uh, man, you know what I'm saying? I'm this one day and, you know, I'm this guy the next. And that whole double, double like split personality shit still plays very well. Will and the foe plays it to a T. That motherfucker understood the assignment. So, so shout out to Will the foe. Same with Alpha Molina. Alpha Molina being torn between, I mean, fucking Doc Ock being torn between, you know, his influence on, uh, from the, from the, from the, uh, things, uh, the tentacles and shit. Like, dang, like I said, it's just so much. Like, yo, I, 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 I kind of, like, yo, shout out to the Electro, though. I love Jamie Foxx's, uh, uh, rendition, uh, this rendition of Electro because it's like, yo, like as soon as he came, as soon as he comes back, yo, he gets his so he, he 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 somehow I guess you know this new version, yo, he installed swag that exe because that because brother was yo brother was hood, bro. And I fucking love that he like listen, I didn't have shit back there, all right. I didn't have no friends. Didn't know how you would fuck about me. And I mean, now look at me, look, you see my teeth fixed. I'm looking good. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <You> know, he, <laughs> so like Jamie Foxx's Electro was definitely one of the more was surprisingly more entertaining I feel he was the most entertaining villain in that entire fucking uh, movie uh, Doctor Strange he held it down like the fight that he has with Spider-Man and they're going with all the shit you've seen in previews yo that fight was fucking fantastic alright special effects were amazing uh, the dialogue the jokes the uh, uh, there's a lot of and there's a lot of uh, uh, nods like if you know your comic book shit you're gonna enjoy this fucking movie. They throw bones left and right. Like when Ned, there's a scene where Ned is talking to uh, Toby McGuire, uh, Toby, uh, Toby Peter, and he talked about, 
Yeah. So like, am I? And so somebody. Like, so like, what am I? Uh, he's asking him questions about his life, about his life, and asked about his best friend. He goes, uh, "I killed my best friend because uh, he was trying to kill me." And if you think about it, that's kind of a kind of a nod there because Ned Leeds is actually the name of Hobgoblin. And it, actually, that's right. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be Ned Leeds. And actually, you know what? Let me Google that shit right quick. So I look like a fucking idiot. You know what I'm saying? So it goes. Yeah, exactly. So Ned Leeds is the Hobgoblin in the comics. So it was kind of a kind of a nod towards that. And oh wait, I think I, oh we got special guests. Hold up. Come on in. Make yourself at home. Ugh. Here we go. Yeah. Wait, come here. Cat. Cause he's cute. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, I really liked it. it. It was pretty damn good. Like the chemistry between uh, Zendaya and uh, and Tom Holland, just just as spot on as it's always been. All right, the bromance between Tom Holland and uh, uh, and fucking damn, I can't forget. I can't forget that kid's name, but yo, Peter and Ned, yo, yo, I want to learn that handshake though. I mean. Ain't really got nothing on the handshake me and my best friend have, but I mean, it's still a pretty cool handshake. And there's a lot of there's a lot of times where like, you know what I'm saying? You see that uh, Spider Man he he can't do it without his boys, without the, without the squad, and they worked so well together, like plot wise and acting wise. So. It, it works out pretty well. Like, I mean, I'm not good at this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm literally fresh off this movie. So I want to get all these thoughts out before, uh, you know what I'm saying? Instead of trying to do it like a week later, I'm be like, what happened again? Nah. Uh, but take it from the top. Like, it all starts out. Everyone's like, you know, busting Peter's balls. All right. There's a scene where, like, he comes back to school and... The three teacher characters that we had from the earlier movies, basically J.B. Smooth, Hannibal Burris, and uh, that one dude that was in the Hulk movie. Uh, apparently, they made like a whole Peter Parker, Spider Man like fucking display. So while like you know the teacher and like you know while the teachers over here like yeah man what fans are you you're the shit whatever whatever you know the gem coach played by Hannibal Burris talking shit Mysterio was right I believe Mysterio man shut up yeah shut the fuck up bro backslap that you know what I'm saying uh, so it, it's dope how like he goes and he's dealing with all the stuff with you know everyone knowing who he is they're trying to get into school they all like you know filled out for like all their schools and shit and all their schools. Uh, they, they all wanted to go to MIT. MIT rejects all three of them because, well, they, they reject Peter because he's Spider-Man. And they reject fucking, you know, Ned and, and MJ because they're friends with Spider-Man. So it gets to the point where Spider-Man is like, all right, fuck it. Let me go. Let me go to talk to uh, uh, Doctor Strange. So then they go. He goes to Doctor Strange, just like an artist. Oh, by the way, they threw, they threw, they, they, they did it again. Where they put some shit in the uh, in the previews that wasn't in the movie. Wong does not tell him not to cast that spell, and that wink scene does not happen. It doesn't happen in the movie. And just like everybody suspected, the scene where Spider Man is swinging up towards like Electro, and you see like you see friggin uh. The lizard, you know what I'm saying, seeing his head go back like this. Yes, that was Andrew Garfield kicking him in the fucking face. So that's confirmed. All right. So, damn. All right. Uh, so I like the way that they went and they played it out how Doc Ock comes at him. And then they fight. And when you see the scene with the nanomachines, like, bonding to, like, to, the, to, the, to the tentacles and stuff... Oh, it wasn't him just stealing the tech and upgrading his shit. It was the tech adapting to that shit to shut it down. That shit was dope. 
that she, you know, Peter's controlling his arms using his suit. Yeah, it was fucking dope. And it's all, and mind you, he was the only reason he was out there, just like I was suspecting a lot of those other videos. Yes, he was trying to talk to the MIT recruiter lady or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And of course, you know what I'm saying? She already done, you know, put the word in for, uh, for, for Mary J and, uh, Mary, oh, I keep saying Mary J, uh, MJ and fucking, uh, and Ned to go ahead and get into fucking, you know, MIT and shit. But, you know what I'm saying, the story progresses, they have the fight, Spider-Man steals, like, fucking, uh, Dr., Dr., uh, Strange's, uh, sling ring, gives it to Ned, Ned accidentally opens a portal, and apparently, apparently, you know what I'm saying, in the original thing, that's what brought the other two Spider-Men there. So using the sling ring, thinking, all right, people who know that Peter Parker is Spider-Man, so of course in that way, they were able to pull both Peter Parkers. And it was hilarious because when 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 uh, Andrew Garfield, uh, Spider-Man, I'm just going to call him Amazing Spider-Man. All right, so you know what? We'll go OG Spider-Man, Amazing Spider-Man, and fucking, uh, uh, and then Tom Holland is just going to be Spider-Man, all right? They tried going Peter 1, 2, 3, and there's a bunch of seasons. They don't know which is which. Am I Peter 2 or you Peter 2? I don't know. I'm Peter 1, you're Peter 2, you're Peter 3. Okay, we got it. You know what I mean? So, seeing the three of them on screen together was like a dream come true. Every time someone had photoshopped some shit, they was just calling the inevitable. All right? And yes, yes, that that that, that video of him on the, on the on the railing, yes. Like, you see the actual scene, where that comes from and shit. So... Oh, uh, man. But for the most part, like I said, it's an amazing fucking movie. Love seeing it. I'm probably going to go watch it again. See if I can you know, catch any other, like, you know, Easter eggs and stuff like that. Doctor Strange, just being Doctor Strange, like, Benedict Cumberbatch definitely understands the assignment. And personally, I think that's, that would make him the, 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 the that's it, either man. Shout out to Benedict Cumberbatch. All right. Uh, on top of that, uh, we saw a lot of range out of Tom Holland. This one, like a lot more. Like we've seen this guy, we see him everywhere from completely dead, like, like like dead inside, to burning with fury, with murderous intent. All right, it gets to that. All right, and seeing that range come out of Tom Holland makes me definitely want to take a look at that uh, Uncharted movie that's coming out. And Tom, if you're watching this, yo. Do as many of these fucking Spider-Man movies as you can. And as soon as you get maybe, like, kind of too old to be Spider-Man, please, be a doctor. I want to see you in that fucking TARDIS. All right? All right? I would love to see Tom Holland as a Californian doctor. But I got to go watch the rest of the series to make sure that's even possible because they did some branchy shit, some shit with something called The Timeless Child or whatever, whatever, whatever. I haven't seen Series 13 yet, but that's another discussion for another video if I ever decide to make it. Anyways. Oh, man. Like I said, it's just... Uh. Now for... Uh, let's go ahead and talk about the big spoiler here. Aunt May dies in that movie and she pretty much becomes Spider-Man's Uncle Ben which sounds completely redundant you know outside of context but as far as like as far as uh, this version of Spider-Man because there was no Uncle Ben you know what I mean so it's not like oh they skipped the whole great part of great responsibility things. No, Aunt May actually dies in this movie because she gets got by Green Goblin, <laughs> and even though she pretty much got stabbed up by like like he hit her with a glider, dude, on some fuck shit. All right, and mind you, she was the main motherfucker trying to help him. She actually was bringing she's the motherfucker who brought him in. They got to the point where mind you, they caught everybody quick as fuck. And he had everybody cooperating at one point. And then Green Goblin kind of like turns the tides and pretty much convinces all these bad guys, yeah, let's just be evil. Everyone else is like, yeah, all right. But there's a scene where they go, he uses the fabricator from uh, uh, Spider-Man Far From Home. He makes a new chip for uh, for Doc Ock's uh, fucking like neural implant. He makes uh 
he makes a device that, that, that pretty much takes all the extra electricity out of uh, Electro so he can literally be normal as long as he's, you know, he has that on him. You know what I mean? And he was still about to start working on everyone else's shit, trying to make a serum to uh, undo the, the, the goblin uh, the goblin transformation. But before he can, you know, actually, like, you know, finish working on it, that's when, you know, the goblin makes his move and kind of fucks everything up. So Aunt May takes all the, the shit that they were working on and tries to book it, you know what I mean? And right before she can get out that front door, that's when the goblin gets to her and shit. But Spider-Man shows up, so then he goes, not Spider-Man back, you know what I mean? And he, sw he swings the, uh, he pretty much, he, she pretty much gets hit with the glider because of that. Like, mind you, like, whatever prototype anti-serum that they, they were working on, they tried hitting it with it, didn't work. You know what I mean? And, like, Aunt May, like, she gets right the fuck up. She scoops Peter off the ground. But that's when, you know, it becomes apparent that she actually got stabbed. You know what I'm saying? From the fucking, uh, uh from the glider. And she pretty much, that's when she gives him the speech, man. He was over here thinking, oh, I was wrong. I should have listened to fucking Doctor Strange when we should have sent these niggas back off rip instead of trying to help them. And then that's when she was like, look, that's when she hits him with the, with great power comes great responsibility and shit. So by the time the other spider man come into the picture, because mind you, this nigga is like fucking like fuming. Like he's like dying inside after losing Aunt May and shit. And when he finally meets the other spider man and he says what Aunt May said to him, that's when, you know, he starts the sentence and they, they finish the sentence. He goes, that's what Uncle Ben said to me. Oh, that's why Uncle Ben said to me. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, mind you, he... Uh, speak, all right, I remember earlier in the video, I, I mentioned how I was talking about closure and shit. The scene where you see uh, uh, MJ falling down and Spider-Man about to save her, he gets knocked the fuck out by the Goblin Glider. And then Amazing Spider-Man comes through and saves her before she hits the ground. That's kind of the saving grace there. Like, I remember somebody, I don't remember if it was me or someone else. I just remember a comment on, on a YouTube video or something talking about that shit. It goes, watch. Watch it turn out that Andrew Garfield saves her. You know what I mean? So, that shit was dope. But, ugh. Just so happy to see all three. And their chemistry together was amazing. It was amazing. It, nothing nothing seemed like it was out of place. And all the, all the moments that came off as awkward is because they were clearly written that way. So it was definitely... Uh, <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. Fuck me. Fuck my rambling. This is just a good-ass movie. Go watch that shit. Spider-Man No Way Home in theaters right now. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, I don't know, something wrong with you. Other than that way, if you like this video, you like it. If you don't, oh well. You know what I'm saying? At least you know you made it this far to see it, and I appreciate that. Uh, I don't know what else to say, man. It's your boy AFZ, man. I'm out this piece like fat kids in dodgeball, all right? Peace.